look, look, look. All, all I'm hearing is selfishness. That's all I'm hearing. Damn, I'm hearing selfishness. Hearing. Because look, it is no compromise. We heard the word compromise with no compromise. Wait, wait, how, how no, was because, what I said not compromising? Because look, we always got... Because y'all seen the man doing that? Oh, okay. yeah. 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 I got to make something romantic. I got to bring the conversation up about not being satisfied. I said well, first. When, no, no. When will the woman leave? If you don't, if why you're can't not, she do something romantic? Exactly. <laughs> like, 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 you no, know that's what I meant by saying kink is she got to make it. If she's not going to f- you right now, I'm sorry uh, if I can't. Can I curse? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> if she's not going to f- you right now, dress up, put a dance, and then go to okay, town. Okay. Uh, welcome back to another episode of Daily Wrap Up Crew. <laughs> no book up, I my name is Eli. As always, we got Ace with us. Yes, indeed. It's your boy Ace. You know, we striving. Make sure y'all subscribe while we vibing. You heard? Mm-hmm. Last but not least, we got you. What it do, what it do, what it do. If you're enjoying the show, you're enjoying the work, dailywrapupcrew.com. Go pick up the merch. Mm-hmm. Okay, crispy. We got some special guests in the building. Ladies, let them know where they can follow you at. Hello, my name's Alexandria. You can follow me on Instagram. My Instagram is flexalmighty. I have a sock line, and my sock line is Born Ready, okay, okay. spelled R E D D I E as the Ready. Okay. Hi, I'm Chrissy. <laughs> um, my Instagram handle is so Chrissy. That's S O dot C R I four ors. I'm um, four ors, four s's and a y. Hey guys, I'm Janae. My Instagram is I tell them by I I T E L L underscore E M B Y E E. All right, before we get into these topics, man, make sure you hit that like button. Definitely helps us out. And make sure you subscribe if you're not already subscribed, because I ain't going to... F- we be dropping some heat, man. I ain't going to hold you, man. Um, make sure you got the merch too, Daily Rap Crew. That's a quick plug real quick. Yeah. First topic, um, is attention the new currency for women? <laughs> y'all laughing over there all maniacally. Right. <laughs> because, like... That, you could go. Mm. <laughs> Y'all laughing over there all maniacally. I only I only ask that because you know we we live in this age where you know women are altering their bodies because they want to look you know aesthetically a certain type of way because they feel like that attention might get them the lifestyle that they want or that attention from men and or other women you know what I mean so that's the only reason I asked that question what y'all think about that I can't yeah go ahead. <laughs> like she was about to say I guess it depends on the individual because mm-hmm. I can't fully agree that women. of women alter their bodies based on wanting to get attention from men for like their future. It can be a form of currency for them. A lot of people use it as a form of currency. I have friends Mm -hmm. personally that Mm -hmm. did get their bodies done, but just for them, like they live their lifestyle and they're pretty content with the lifestyle that they live. (laughs) It can be who you surround yourself with too. Like none of us have our bodies done Mm -hmm. and a lot of our friends may have it but like our immediate circle we all regular we all regular you say a lot of your friends have it we know a lot of people that got their bodies done I went to school down south I know a lot of people that got their bodies (laughs) done I know a lot of strippers shit must be on sale or some shit the way I be copping that shit like yo and I know them shits come with the veneers they gotta come with the veneers everybody that got their body done (laughs) got the veneers too like you know what I mean so I hope the veneers surround yourself with the veneers just like in the bodies done I literally hope you get your teeth done before you get your body done, personally. Mm, I feel like if you're getting your teeth done, make sure it's getting done right by the right person. Same with your body. Get it done. If you're if you're getting it done, you don't got the money to get it done, don't get it done. Because a lot of people are here looking real bad. It can, back to your question though, it can be a form of currency. Mm. A lot of people are using it as a form of currency. They're doing what Men they got to do and making though. it happen for themselves with their body. But it depends on the person. You know what I'm saying? Going back to what she said. And where their mind is at, how they look at it. You said that your friends get it done for themselves. Like, what, what makes you think, like, is that what they're telling you? Like, So I've <laughs> had, like, one of my, like, really close friends actually is in the midst of getting, like, like work done. Mm-hmm. And I've personally spoken to her and I've asked mm-hmm. her, like, what's her reasoning? And honestly, she's been one of the people that, even when we were younger, she's always said that she wanted to look a certain type of way just for her. So, if she's one of the, if she's one person in the whole entire world, then 
Is she single? I guess she's just that one. No, she, she's actually not. Okay. And she okay, yeah, because. I don't. Why I just find that. Yeah, like, yeah. Why yeah. 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 What's the correlation? Let's get yeah. into it. Why Between her it like that? wanting her to get her body done by her. I, I, I believe that all women get their body done for the, the attention. Sex. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We we had women like we had a show in Atlanta and she was talking about how you know obviously if women go into that nightlife entertainment um like you know occupation whether it's by the girl stripping they almost feel like they have to get their body done because they receive more tips you yes. know more attention that's that from, industry though that's it, that, that, that lifestyle they mm-hmm. have to in that lifestyle y'all can't lie but if, with their but if done. everyday women are uh, getting their body done at a abnormal rate which is happening you know what i mean let's be Regular real people women. are looking online uh-huh. and you know the whole talk about the internet is warping people's mind. I believe that's true for some people. Mm-hmm. We can't just boil down to all people. I'm not, not gonna say every, us. I'm, I'm nah, gonna say most. No. What you're saying though, not. I wouldn't say. I mean, you did. You say, say most? Do you know most yeah. women? You did say but, but, that. You, you know what I'm saying? Like, but if, I, if I interview ten women and eight out of ten say they get it done for the opposite sex, what am I supposed to? They say it's an mm-hmm. investment. They say we on her. That's right. Are you are you getting ten random women? Like, yeah. are you going yeah. to only yeah. ten? Like, black just like y'all sitting here, <laughs> we got ten y'all. Okay. <laughs> All right, I know y'all just come from y'all getting random people, but mm-hmm. is it random women that are possibly in the same industry? Or are these real random, like literally? J- random? Just like yeah. y'all, just yeah. like y'all sitting in this shit. Okay, it depends on the person, I believe. Well, yeah. I mean, so like, gen. okay, so for example, mm. I work. I am currently an executive assistant for an interior designer, and uh. A senior designer that's in my office actually got her body done. She is married. She does have two kids, and she got her body done for her. Like, it's so what's, funny though because <laughs> like that, she doesn't work in the nightlife. That's two people that With, we know that and, and, are in relationships mm. that want their bodies done. Mm. I have a friend. Or, well, that she got is, her body done already. Like she and I have a friend who's also in a relationship. And, two kids and, as well. She just wants a body done. And, and so, don't. Can I, can oh, I mention yeah. one thing? All right, so <laughs> it's one thing I just want to mention because mm-hmm. the first thing ladies like to say, not all ladies before y'all go at me, but y'all always like to mention, well, ain't that what men like? Ain't that what y'all liking on Instagram? Ain't that what you going to look at? I think you got the wrong random. No, no, I'm, I'm just saying like... Because <laughs> right, we didn't even mention that. No, I'm just, no, I'm no, just saying... No, I'm, general I'm, general saying yeah, I'm, not, I'm just saying, you know, mm-hmm. a lot of women would say that that's what men like. And mm-hmm. we, you know... Me, I wouldn't. I prefer a natural woman. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? But most women see us liking that on Instagram or liking it on TV. Like, oh, damn, she looked bad. But that don't mean that I that's what we you, want. I feel like it's just, sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. No, I cool. feel like it's just a like because I know a lot of guys that like natural women. Like, they don't like the overly plastic, hard mm-hmm. body booty girls. Like, they don't like that. Yeah. <laughs> They'll like their pictures. Like, okay, girl, like, you cute. But what they prefer, what they got at home is not that. <laughs> exactly. I agree. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But the average the average um, girls be um, I, I, you don't think average women or without the you know the surgery could look at currency and um likes or attention. Women are taking pictures to their feet. Like, everybody wants some type of attention. Mm. But yeah, it's not always to get something monetary out of it because you say currency. Like it's not always that. Sometimes it could just be like, I just want to know that I feel good, or I just want to know that I look good. Besides myself, like it could be that sometimes. Like I don't think we should boil making money off your body strictly down to like women getting their body done because there are some slim eyes out here. That are getting online and they're doing their thing, mm. slim, natural. Yeah, and that's doing what, it too. Yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Mm. And men is getting so. their body done too. That's what they got. They got a fake ass going. <laughs> exactly. Fake yeah, um, girl. French Montana. Hamstring. I mean, um, I'm just uh, saying, like, you know, you know, know. they got fake ass. They got fake ass, fake biceps. You know what I'm saying? Yo, I ain't gonna hold you. A lot of them niggas that be on that fitness shit trying to promote the P90X. Them niggas be having their body done. They get their body done, then they shoot their business. They shit go up, and then it's like. Oh, I want to be just like them the whole time. They pay for that. Mm-hmm. Like, wow, you can't just... Don't strong. just look at the women. Like, that's y'all doing that shit too, not y'all. But. Yeah, yeah, I get what you're saying. Yeah, that's definitely. a fact. That's a fact. Yeah. Um, let, me get into, <laughs> let me get into this next topic. You can play that first clip I have for you, please. And thank you. I fucking love young women. <laughs> Slayer. Between 21 and 25. 21? 21 and 25. You're 33. I'm 33 years old. It's been the best fucking experience. I think I know why. The best experience. Like, these women typically very malleable, right? Very, <laughs> very cooperative, extremely cooperative, right? 
Kevin Samuels Jr. Exciting. No, <laughs> listen, listen. For sure. No, no, let me tell you, because it just I mean, I'm just being very honest about my experience. Like, they don't have many negative experiences. So they do truly give you grace. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I know that I know that kind of triggers some of y'all over there. Let's, we got we got to get straight into this, man. How, how y'all trigger. feel about men dating younger women? I feel like nothing is wrong yeah. with men dating younger women. I, I feel like exactly. the reason yeah, it's for what dating he says. younger women <laughs> it's what he would says. make you wrong. A lot of men that exactly. probably feel like like that date younger women mm. probably feel like him. But I also know a lot of men who I've had that general conversation with mm. that are just like they'll literally. Say what he said, like, yeah, other guys, that's what they want. They want someone, their words would be, they're easier to um, to, control. In, to control or to change. I literally had someone say it's easy to change their mind. Like, to groom. To groom them, which yeah. is the right word to use. I don't think <laughs> men has ever said they're easier to control. I think that's what a lot of women assume yeah. when but men I, say is, that. Like, But when I've talked, this is like what y'all said with interviewing the random women. I've talked to guys, like, I'm, I'm a talker. Like, I've talked to people, I talk around, I've had that conversation before. Mm-hmm. And there are some guys, whether they probably admit about themselves or not, they would say, yeah, that's what guys want. They want a woman that's younger because... They're easier probably to influence, like I'm using their words. They're not saying to groom, but they're saying influence. Not even saying manipulate. They're like, they're easier like, That's oh, a oh, older woman is too combative. They like to argue too much because they're set in their ways. Like I'm trying to remember words and they're coming to mm. me, I'm saying it. And these are the words they're using. These are words that and, guys are saying other men feel like. You what's what's know? wrong, wrong with not liking, what's, what's wrong with not liking somebody that's combative? It's Nothing's not wrong, wrong with that. that. Yeah, but I'm saying, like, like that. that's the reason. Like that Do you get what I'm saying? Like, you can say a million you other say, things, you but say to, you, to, you say you had no problem the with them being younger women, but you have a problem with their reasoning. So what's wrong with the reason that, that I don't like if combative you women? Date a because woman if you want to be you liked her or whatever, one whatever that's then cool. Hold on, one mic, one, one mic. But, but if you if you're like solely reaching out to a female because she's 22 and I know she hasn't had previous relationships to change her mind and think all oh, niggas is not some mm-hmm. a certain type of way, then that's kind of weird. Like. Yeah. How that's that's kind of weird. Yeah. Like, yeah. That is weird. So, like you're, right. you're, you're you're picking her because she she, she hasn't, hasn't experienced anything. She hasn't been tainted to change yeah, her mind. But how do you how do you say that she's tainted? Like because she hasn't that had experiences trauma. tend to make women act, women build a wall and act a certain way towards men and be more combative, which is what men don't like. So what's wrong with dating a woman that hasn't been through that experience where she? Like ain't all men ain't shit, so I don't gotta deal with that barrier. Exactly. Yeah, that? But it's older women too I mean, that aren't like that. How so many? Saying. What percentage? Yeah, of that? <laughs> What's the percentage? Y'all date older I don't women? Know that. <laughs> y'all date older women? Do I date yeah. older women? Yeah. yeah. No, I don't date okay. older women. Okay. I've dated <laughs> older women, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, and there, there is a certain level of you know baggage that trauma that comes with that. Um, if what like I, I can't say I fully agree with him, but I understand where he's coming from because. Mm-hmm. What happened, if you understand anything about like male nature, like men are nat- we're just attracted to beauty, we're attracted to fertility, we're attracted to peace. Like, and sometimes you tend to find those qualities in younger women. Not saying you can't find them in older women, but the older women normally do come with the baggage. They might mm. come with the kids. They might, you know, come with the niggas ain't shit mentality. Ways, they might, mm-hmm. yeah. So that's very difficult to deal with as a man coming in dealing with a woman that's, oh, niggas ain't shit like that. Like when he says, your young women give me grace, it's easier. They're, they're more cooperative. You know what I mean? A lot of women on this show says, I need a man that I can learn from, right? That's what, that's what mm-hmm. the women say. Mm-hmm. True or false? Facts. True. You can learn something, obviously, when you're younger and the guy is much older, you're more, more willing to compromise. You're more willing to compromise and follow his lead. It's not like a, oh, I'm not listening to no nigga lead. Like, nigga mm-hmm. ain't gonna tell me what to do. So, there is, and that, this is universal across mm-hmm. the world. Like, men have always been attracted to younger women, not saying like on underage women, but younger women, just like how women have been historically attracted to older men because there's certain things that y'all get from older men that y'all don't get from men younger. Like, you know, they're more mature, they're more like okay. financially stable. I agree with the both of you mm-hmm. to an extent. And I agree with you as well. Mm-hmm. So want- to circle back to the original question <laughs> and to like give my answer to the question, I don't think that there's anything wrong with older men wanting to actually date younger women. However, I do agree with, <laughs> to an extent, with the both mm-hmm. of you. I do agree with my friend when she says... If I did have an issue, it would be because of his reasoning. Right. It'll be his not, reasoning that y'all heard. No, no, no. Was there any issues with what he said? Because mm, there was no. women was killing him online. Like no, no, no. He didn't, no, bash, no, he didn't, no, he didn't no, bash no, older women. Honestly, he didn't do the way that you explained yourself. I'm me. sorry. The way that he explained himself. I already explained yourself. It'll. 
it, it'll be like, all right, okay, I see what you're saying. You know, listening to him, to me, his intent behind the words that he's that are just coming to his mind that he's just using shows me that his real intent of dating younger women isn't, I don't know, I feel like sometimes um, they probably want to, in, in relationship, guys want to lead and it's probably easier to lead, you know what I'm saying, when you have someone that isn't, like you said, fighting back and forth with you or have trauma, you know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. things like that. But then someone like that is, I feel like from what he's saying, how he's moving, how he's talking about it, you want to manipulate. You want someone that's easy to control. Someone that, I feel like that from what he's saying. That's even though it's probably not, it's the energy behind it. You know what I'm saying? It's like the words that he's using. Like, you got to look at people's intentions. I don't know. His intentions just is giving. So, it's, it's you, giving want bad vibes, you want something like, you can get, you can, someone you can get away with. Is that is that your shit. woman's intuition speaking? Mm. <laughs> Yeah, I, I would Perk. say it's a little bit of my women's intuition. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit of just knowing guys in general. Mm -hmm. I don't know all guys. I know I yeah. know a few people. Talking to a couple people, you know, and just I think I think what happens there, sometimes you know, what happens is energy. men women are get very upset when men have standards and preferences, mm -hmm. and that's what when I see that clip, I hear a man who has preferences on women. I didn't he, I didn't hear anything. It didn't sound like he was trying to manipulate when, when, when I heard it. Like, you know what I mean? Nope. That's his preference. But He's a lot of women- He's basing it on younger women. That's his preference. Yeah. Just like how y'all base quality of men off of their height without and even money. knowing them and money. That's his preference. And what happens is a lot of women feel disqualified by what he said because they might not be in that age bracket. So now they feel like, damn, no, like I feel disqualified. Like, <laughs> y'all be judging niggas height. off their height, not even the quality of men. How they you gonna treat you? Bro? Like, what's my thing? I gotta think of a short guy. It ain't nothing about, I feel like it all boils down to the person. Like, not, you know what I'm saying? With that, but. To circle back, yes. If his reasoning <laughs> is to manipulate, he's wrong. But why Other you, than that, why you like you said, that's 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 I mean, I didn't, I didn't say that uh, I assumed uh, that that was his intentions. Yeah. I personally, like you guys heard me say, yeah. I didn't find anything wrong with right, it. That's right, his right. personal preference. Mm. That Okay, you want to date younger women? That's fine. That's what with you. That. Now, if you decide to date younger women and you turn into a manipulator, then that's different. That has nothing to do with me. That's like skipping, jumping the gun. Like you're he can already manipulate in a you if you're young or old. That, that shit, that just like, could be his. I mean, exactly. Yeah. What if he I mean, can that, find that those same age. traits in someone who's older? Like, I feel like, okay, I get what y'all saying, and it is beauty, all that preference. Beauty and fertility find... tends to drop as a woman gets older. Like, I'm not I, saying there's not no oh baddies. Oh, we didn't even God. talk about that. We're not talking about that. We're not talking about that. Yeah, but what I'm saying is, like, that's universal, what I'm talking about how you explain it what you're talking about but I'm saying universally if you there's studies that universally in any country men typically go for younger women to, because of the things like beauty fertility when, when you get when women get older that tends that to drop true. like yeah. you know what I mean so that might not be as attractive to a man like just like how women won't find a man that's as attractive if he's not financially stable like you get what I'm saying so those okay. things do play a factor but you're referencing you're not you know to, I'm not trying to like mm -hmm. every, no, but you're referencing you're right. sorry everything, Alex, let me say everything is personal preference mm -hmm. you see how men do not want women that potentially as they get older their beauty fades we do not want older men that look raggedy so you're right it's personal preference at that point that's it i feel you like know? when you're referencing this video like you're talking about what we're referencing like but you give me another guy that's like probably saying what he's saying i probably mm -hmm. would have felt different how he's saying it i'm talking about like with him that's why i was kind of relating to how to how you explained it like okay i see what you're saying with certain things it's the way he's coming across when he says it like you know we're referencing with this video with him and how he's coming across what he's saying. You know what I'm trying to say? Person, yeah. like, you know, so that's why, that's why I'm talking about. didn't like, rub her correctly, and that's okay. Like, you, you, we can cross paths with somebody, and I'll be like, oh my gosh, I met him, and I love him. Like, he's amazing. And then she can cross paths with someone, and she's like, no, he's a demon. I I don't want to be next to him. I could sit down with him and have a real sit-down like, conversation you know? and have a whole other perspective of him. But how he came exactly. across in that video. How she, sees, how she perceives him that's in that video. Nothing's wrong with men dating young women. I do think that's like, the difference between like men and women like we could like hear him and hear him out like you, when, when you talking to women you got to say it like softly or like you got you your message, yeah. message got to be that gentle and he could be he's just blunt you know what I mean yeah. and very direct you get what I'm saying that just he could mean it the same way how Eli's express like elaborating mm -hmm. on it but you know what I'm saying just you know when women hear shit they just like oh nah I don't like how he's smiling while he's saying that oh nah you get what I'm saying that's how that be your energy like 
yeah, I mean, yeah. when he explained it, it sounded like okay. You know, like, like I could. And a, a lot of a lot of men got to deal with. You know, when we do date like women that had like history with dating other men, oh. we always got to live up to. That oh that nigga did this when he did that and we like oh I'm tired of that shit you get yeah, what I'm men, saying men are like, tired of sure. coming in at a disadvantage with certain women I'm not saying all women but yeah. it's, older women do tend to have that trauma of dealing with the ain't shit niggas now they whole mindset is niggas ain't shit not mm-hmm. even some niggas it's just niggas ain't shit Full they gentlemen. might come with kids baby dad like yeah, it's a certain if level if of baggage not that's willing to go through and break those barriers if she's not if she's not if you if as a guy he doesn't already see that she's the one and he doesn't care what type of trauma or what she's been through family ex-boyfriend or whatever he's not willing to break down those can, barriers with her can, can i can i ask you a question how often probably how often would a, how often do you think a woman would fight for a, a good man that she's been She's been hurt, right? And he's actually a good quality man, but she doesn't realize that she's treating him like how the last dude should have been treated. How often does she fight for that man? I feel like women fight for the man all the time. Regardless. <laughs> I, 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 I feel like that. I, 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 I can't say that. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, she's correct. She's correct. The the she's correct. They fight for the wrong type of men. You're right. You're absolutely right. Yeah. <laughs> she didn't say that. Y'all love no, it. Y'all be fighting other women over toxic niggas. You know what I'm saying? Because y'all don't want to admit that y'all are wrong at times. So not wrong I would say most women, in my opinion. Most women don't. We have women on the show. I have a woman in my house. She don't like admitting she wrong. So you get what I'm saying? So, <laughs> you know, I, I'm going to tell you. That's accountability. Yeah. A lot of people yeah. lack yeah. accountability. So, women lack yeah. accountability. So if you can't say you wrong, how do you know that you missing out on a good man when you, you know, reminiscing about what the last man mistakes was? Honestly, that just comes with growth. Right, Shit. she's not gonna realize yeah. just and like a man who's not gonna realize till he gone. And that's yeah. why like he want a younger woman where he could be like, "Yo, let's just be real up front. You do something wrong, you apologize. I do something wrong. I, to be I, fully, I can't tell no, no older woman that shit. She, she's you know not dealing saying? with that. To be honest with you, I just okay. feel like it comes with growth. Like, mm. as someone in there's a difference between growth like, in plants and growth in <laughs> women. I'm telling you, <laughs> I feel like, like it comes with growth because a woman has to be in that situation <laughs> to su- to be able to like self reflect, to be able to say to herself like, okay, this actually was a good guy. He actually was like. He actually was good that, to me. That dude would have to walk out the door yeah, and like, be with another shorty before. No, you can't she say that. No, you That's can't crazy. say that. It, no, 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 no. And he can say that, but he no, can't not just say necessarily and not. It's, I mean, I feel like not that can every happen situation that be because some really women like, sometimes, like, say for example, <laughs> what happens if it's if it's a woman still with you or like you guys are actually still inside of a situation and she's now working on herself at that time. She decides like at that time, you know what, I've had enough. Like what if her job was the breaking point? I've had enough, I need to get into therapy or something. And now she's working on herself. Mm. There's so nothing she's wrong with now that. being able to self-reflect and be like, you know what, maybe the way I'm treating this guy is shitty. Like she's now able to reflect out of the situation, like, you know, being inside of the city situation. And he can still be there. Yeah. He could be that guy that that that's like you know what she's the one. Yeah. Are you gonna I, stick I, it I'll, out I'll while she gets through, through that? that, if, through she, that trauma. If, if she's saying that, you get what I'm saying. I, men are forced to uh, you know always have to fix and help and sit there. What about my feelings at the same time? You get what I'm saying. True, men men's feelings do go get over. Men, yeah. men have feelings. Yes. That's so, true. So I gotta I gotta help build you. I think you need to step away from this relationship. Focus on yourself. Fix yourself. And if we both can meet back up, mm-hmm. then mm-hmm. I think that's better. But for me Which to have to worry happen. about how you fixing yourself and how I'm being treated in the process, it's unfair. Mm-hmm. I feel like that and boils to be, down to, to communication. And then to yeah, even get and literally both to even get to that properly. point, it has to be some form of growth. She has to see something is wrong. Mm. She has to see something's wrong. Because if she don't see nothing is wrong, mm. and you gotta be we, patient. We hope so. And pass so if I don't see nothing is wrong, trying to grow in the relationship. Are you I'm willing, just like she said, are you willing to just see her like, okay, she's going through her thing. She's trying to fix herself. All right. Let's now y'all it. get to the point of talking about what are we going to do? Are we going to separate? Or am mm-hmm. I going to sit here? This is what you're doing to take yourself. Well, this is what I need. I see what... No, no, no. <laughs> I'm talking about you. I'm talking no. about as the man. This is yeah, what I, I need. This is what you need. How and then, we gonna make and this work even if I suggest it, even if I suggest, I say, hey, 
I think we should take this space. Oh, that's fucked up. You can't even help me when I need you. So do you feel like most men, mm. their form of like fixing mm. a relationship is like taking space? No, I'm just saying if that what look, it's already no, being no, no. It, the, the, the flip. No, no, the woman nothing's flip wrong. Is, 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 it's happening <laughs> right now. No, no, no. I'm, I'm not trying to flip it. No, I'm trying no, to put that to the side. That's a tactic that's not that I see it. like a lot of women mm-hmm. do. You know, and I I could say, y'all could say, oh, did you mess with a lot of women? Sometimes you've got to answer it to put good percentage of them. And I'm just saying. You know what? I give you that because I've definitely said that before. Uh, yeah, you know what I'm saying. Like, if that. if that was my 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 feelings, and I say, hey, I think you should step. You can't say that I did. I thought that was best for both of us. You get what mm-hmm. I'm saying? So you can't question my my decision. Do you know what I tell yeah. my guy friends when I have in situations with girls sometimes? And this is that situation when the girl has to. This is that situation. I'm sorry. This that situation when he just said. This that situation where you find out that's the girl that's gonna fight. Literally. Yeah. Because me personally, granted, I hear what you're saying, but no. Hold I don't on, want that fight wait. when I cancel you. Not, I want that fight say, when hold we on, hold on, hold on. You know what I'm saying? Do you know, hold like, on. Do you know what I tell no. a lot of my guy friends when I have a situation with girls? I'm like, you know what you need to do? You need to just communicate. It might not go the way you want it to go. She might not even understand what you're saying the way she needs to or perceive or like take it in the way she's supposed to take it in. But you said it. You had the conversation. You sat there and tried to answer her questions. You you said this is it. You're not going back and forth with that. Now, however you decide to step, however you decide to move, it's warranted. I had the conversation. You're yeah. not doing anything about it. You're not getting what I'm saying. And we're not, we're going in circles. We're not getting anywhere. And I don't, you know you, what I'm saying? I don't but want it you takes to rebuttal. A, I, I just don't mm-hmm. want you to feel like, you know, like I'm, I'm, I'm forced. I don't want to feel like I'm forced after that. If that's mm-hmm. if that's much, we can still talk about it. Mm-hmm. We can still have a conversation. It just can't be a flip narrative where you got me feeling bad about my decision because mm-hmm. that's mm-hmm. unfair. Let me get into, me get into this next topic real quick. Mm-hmm. Um, but just to, just to real quick about the last topic, I don't think there's anything wrong with men having preferences. Mm-hmm. Obviously, if you do say it in a malicious or a devious way, like mm-hmm. like you said, men do want if they want to control her or whatever, mm-hmm. then I don't think that's right. But we have to get into the space where we allow men to actually have preferences without mm-hmm. always trying to shame them and mm-hmm. trying to assume that they meant something that they may and not have or, meant. Like, you know what I'm saying? Negative, so, like, yeah, like, like, no, it's true like, because so, I have a boy, a guy in my house, my brother just like feelings. her, in a house full of women, and sometimes I got to catch myself from getting on him so much. It's so easy to be like, yo, what are you talking about? Yo, da 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 fix it. And I have to be like, yo, I have to step back. Like, he's a guy. He's allowed to have his opinion, have his... But you know, because I'm just saying, like, women can be overbearing sometimes. Mm. You know what I mean? Just so so get, in, get into my next topic, because um, it's kind of relate to the conversation we were just having. Mm-hmm. Um, what is the current state of black love? And do you think black love is slowly dying? It's dead already. Stop. Is that why you said that? It's dead already. Our generation killed that shit. Like for real, I really feel like our black generation Black love that shit. is not dead. I feel like mm-hmm. it is. I feel like black love. Is what, what, is, what do you What do you there's think? There's nobody what is black love that to? we can look at from our generation. I'm not talking about our parents, our grandparents. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about people in our age range. You can probably count on your hands how many like people you know that have that epitome of black love. Like, what, what do you define black love as? What is What is black love to you? What does that mean to you? What does it mean? To, I feel like black love is peace, is trust, is honesty, is timeless. Like, it's raw. it's a it's, yeah, and it's appreciation. Like you guys really what would like, you define have each love other's as? back? Like you not the social media that shit is crazy now with us. Like I feel like that has has played and a raw, major don't mean part toxic, in that. Sorry, yeah, none of that toxic shit. Mm-mm. Being able to like argue. But, like, not get to that toxic place. Because a lot of times mm. we argue and that shit go way left. Like, it go <laughs> below the Facts. gutter. Like, yeah. being able to have a healthy line of argument and still be able to, like, lay next to your person and be like, mm-hmm. you know what? I love you. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't see that from us. Like, I only had probably one friend that got married. Was that her wedding? Boo-hooing. Because that <laughs> shit was real. Yeah. But, like, <laughs> I don't have all of my other friends that may have had relationships. Unfortunately, just didn't get that far. Mm-hmm. They got the kids to show it, but. So what do you mm-hmm. think is contributing to the death of it? Because I I think obviously you know we on social media at least we have this gender war that's going on where you know men ain't shit women ain't shit we're bashing each other we're mm-hmm. we're telling each other that non black people are better mating options for each other like you know women are dating outside their race men are dating outside black men are dating outside their race so there is it, it seems like we're too busy fighting each other we got black people got a lot of shit to deal with in this world and yeah. for some reason we are so fixated on fighting each other you know what I mean and when you get to the point where you know you got 
you get the passport bros we hear that all the time people going outside the country to find you know mm -hmm. their wives and women mm -hmm. talking about they got to get them a chad and stuff like that that to me is very toxic and normally when i think of black love i think of like you know courage i think of defined odds i think of you know resilience um you know things like like fighting through like adversity like you know what i mean things of that nature like black love is very unique because black people have a very unique you know history in this mm -hmm. country like you know what i mean so mm -hmm. when that's i want that's why i want to ask because I'm, I'm maybe this is just social media maybe it's not real life but i'm seeing a lot of people spew hatred you know black people spew hatred towards each other and i'm like yo where do we come to a place where we could come to a compromise because i know we all been hurt you know what i mean so mm -hmm. how do we come to a compromise like, what, what, what do y'all think about that um I, I, I kind of agree with her. I think it's dead in this generation. Because when she said that we can't think of nobody in our generation that's like married and thriving in their marriage, I really couldn't think of yeah, nobody. <laughs> like, the first person I thought of was like Jay Z and Beyonce, but they like in their what, 40s or whatever. So, like, uh, no. Which Jay Z like 50. And then you got Will Smith and Jay. Well, they're not really relationship goals yeah, no more. Yeah, like, yeah. This generation. It's a bad example. Like, yeah. 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 Before it was a good one. Yeah, yeah. Before yeah. It was, there used to be relationship goals, but now well, I really so can't. Much. I really can't think about nobody in this generation, mm -hmm. and I think I it's, think about my grandparents when I think about black love. But that's what everybody always yeah, everybody yeah. always resort to their grandparents. And grandparents. guess what? what I'm and like, if if you continue to just literally follow the foundation, black love won't be supposedly dead. But if it was that simple, it would have happened because we all have grandparents. Like we all have. We don't even value have, family like no some more. Some of us bro. grew up I in the house family. like their grandparents raised them. Like it wasn't their mother and father that raised them. It was their grandparents that raised them. But mm. then they're the same people that don't have no real relationships. Like unfortunately, the people that they put out there, like even like they created love and hip hop to show love and black people and music. That shit is not it's about toxic. love. Yeah. Toxic and hip-hop. Yeah. 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 I don't toxic. feel like they put it out for actual love. I feel like they put it out for like toxic. It's Ratchet TV. No, yeah. but... Like I don't think I doubt that, that they really good, like they really put it out to just be like, we're going to show black people like making fun of love. Like, because they, they pay for people weddings and shit. Mm. Like, so if it was solely just to like show like how toxic are the drama, then they probably wouldn't be doing all of that. Like, people don't got married on that show and they're not together now. Yeah, but a lot of them storylines be fabricated. Yeah, like, a lot of them do ain't be really, fake. But yeah, like. But to put, that's what we have to look at. Mm. Like, and people are naive. They watching that shit and they, and they soaking that shit up. It. Yeah, like black love. Why I don't they, think why they, why they fabricating the negative and not saying positive? Mm -hmm. you know I mean? But how many people is going to tune into the positive? That, like, yeah, that's yeah, another thing. That's yeah, another thing. It's TV. Like I, that's why I feel like that's kind of like a bad example. Like it's TV. That well, is, but that's what you all. That's that's a, also yeah, your that's, influence. Like our parents, we had music. Like they had like the greats to really look on. They had good TV. It wasn't about. They, you show black people like the Cosby's before Cosby. Like, what you saying? But you, you, know, you had something. Example, to, there's no good examples. And all that there's stuff no too. good examples right now. We don't even watch TV like that. The TV yeah. that we do watch is drama. Online, Instagram, and all of that. I feel like that has a big influence. I feel like a lot of people. Mm, I feel like black love mm -hmm. is it's not dead. I feel like just like what you said, it's just who we know. There are people in our lives. It's 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 it's. it's probably on the low but I know there's a lot of people out there who can say they got a lot they know a lot of strong couples well, I know there's a couple they've been together it is but what's that's their how, culture there's a lot of I've worked in a Are doctor's office and I've had the same conversation where most of the young people that come in you know what I'm saying I'm from New York I've lived in New York my whole life mm. I don't know what it's like down south or anything like that I know in New York yes a lot of younger people are married in other cultures and everything like that race. you know everything like Everything like that. Down south, I'm not sure. I'm, I don't know. I know that there are people out there who are black and who are trying, at least trying to change. Mm -hmm. Are we paying attention to them though? That's why we don't know about them. They're not in our social circles. Yeah, that's like what he you get what I'm exactly. Yeah. You get what I'm saying. So I think too, we we stop valuing family. Like no, people like we, are a we, lot of very shallow and yeah, relationships we, we ask are very people on surface. the show all the time. Women on the show. We ask men on the show. And when we ask them, do you want to get married? A lot of them say no. They like, okay so with we, my little they, cousins they, like that. They okay that. with being baby mamas and co-parenting. Yeah. Like mm -hmm. that's not how you build black love. Like you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's actually I, I would say that's contributing to the downfall mm -hmm. of black love. These single parent household, this baby mama culture. Like that's not helping building a community. That's not helping building a family. People don't stick it out. But I, I mean, I, it depends on what you're sticking out. I will say that. But yeah, a lot straight. of people <laughs> are ready to just be like, uh, okay, like the culture of, oh, there's more people out there. Mm. All right, so I'm going to just do this. I you know how much guys say, I know say, oh, I'm just going to put babies in everybody. There are a lot of men that I know that have been heartbroken. I say, yeah, right now I'm just going to, I just want to have a bunch of kids. Like, And I didn't really think about things yeah. like that too much, but like creating fatherless so. homes, like 
Big example, Nick Cannon. People be like, oh, well, he got the money. But is he going to be in the house with all these kids? Exactly. And then the yeah. woman he that. decides to settle down with. The amount of kids he decides to have with her, they're getting that two-parent household But again, love. as much as we got to hold Nick Cannon accountable, mm -hmm. we got to hold up the women that's signing up to be True. baby mamas. Like, True. women are signing up. Signing up. I don't know if they got a they form see or some shit. Like, that's yo, those women. That's the the like, the money. There are a lot of women <laughs> sleeping with celebrities and they're aborting babies by choice. Mm -hmm. Like, not, you know touch you but they are they are mm. they're they're doing that by choice because they're not trying to get caught up like that but we're seeing what's being publicized which mm. is the pregnant seventh baby mama of this person and the tenth one of that and mm. oh he got the third one pregnant again that's what is going to be on social media shame to the people who don't know real black people don't never group around them you know i believe in black twitter white twitter like there are things that do not mm. pop up on our feeds mm. there are things that do not pop up on their feed like mm. other mm. people's feeds depending True. on what you're into yeah. so if, when you go on tv or when you decide to go on the shade room which everyone is on mm -hmm. and all you see is this of course that's what you're going to think yeah negativity and, yeah. and I want to say the, the reason why I do believe I have hope for black love is because there's been an increase and in, I forgot the number on the stats but it was an increase in black fathers in, in the household so with that being said we went from shit I, I, I grew up with a lot of my friends not having our fathers mm -hmm. there yes. now I'm start seeing fathers with strollers they everywhere I go I see tears. active like, active black fault everywhere. Dead. I'm not saying everywhere, but I, it, it's been a huge increase, and it just brings my dad. You know what I mean? Dead. Yeah, <laughs> it brings hope because if my the father's too. there, the mother's there. <laughs> it, nine yeah, out of ten, they're going to Even with you saying week. that, what what is the shade room going to post? The deadbeat dads and right. the kids that are not paying child support. Like you can. So Everyone I do agree that there are fathers out there that's doing the right Everyone thing, but mm -hmm. they're not getting celebrated. Like that's just mm -hmm. like what it is. But the toxic ones is going to be on the shade. The baller alerts, the Hollywood mm -hmm. alert. Like you get what I'm Honestly, saying? So, it's it's what you pay attention to. Yeah, it's you literally what you pay attention to because it's perspective. You. <laughs> I literally just sat here and said that black love isn't dead and my friend just sat here and said she thinks black love is dead. Mm -hmm. First but thing that she said it was dead altogether. Okay. I, 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 I both of them was. agreed that black love was dead and was the first <laughs> reference that they she used got one HP we, like <laughs> they said, we don't see it. Mm. Me personally it's just like well, I guess you could say it's like within you. Like mm. you know yeah. like if you want it you gotta know. I feel you know like everyone I mean? knows the person they're dealing with. If you want, like, it's in my house, so I feel like it like, could be exactly. there for everybody else's house. Exactly. Mm -hmm. yeah, Definitely inside, so inside of my household. Now, but it's, it's the difference between what you're looking for and what's promoted. Yeah. As soon as you go on IG, that shit is right there. And that's the thing. Yeah, I mean. yeah. What's promoted? Look at these guys' wives. To, like, oh. promotion. They push so much. That everybody knows that, like, the media is a lie. Social media is this and this and that. So, you don't, you, just why. you don't pay attention to what they pushing. LeBron they go, James' wife. Of course, wife. they're going to keep paying, saying like, oh my gosh, father this, father kills kids. What happened to those once in the few videos that it's like the father that's doing his daughter's hair? The mm. single father that's it's doing his daughter's hair. It's only circulating for a little bit. Yeah. Like, yeah. What's being promoted it's not being as well? pushed on our feet, LeBron but it, it's James. not. It doesn't mean that it's not happening. But two that's chains. two different things. These guys' that. wives, they don't look like the video vixens. They mm. don't look like some of these guys' baby mothers, but these are who they've been married exactly. for years. What are, but that's why I said it's two different people things. People are just warped. That's why I say people, like, okay, there are a lot of people. Um, Let's use the New York area that are into a certain type of lifestyle. There are regular people who are getting, like y'all said earlier, like getting their bodies done just to fit an image or to fit this lifestyle to look the best. You know, they ain't even strippers. You know what I'm saying? A lot of these people aren't even strippers. They just, mm -hmm. you know, for you can do it for yourself, but some people are doing it for the attention and everything like that. Mm -hmm. It's what you see on, on the internet. People are very shallow. It's like, oh, you could really fall in love and really like someone who's a regular person, but decide to have as we like to talk I, about the um celebrities get industry girl. Yeah, I, I, I girl don't mean to be image. I don't mean to be toxic or start mm -hmm. anything, but you know, a lot a lot of conspiracy theories say that, you know, the feminist movement was to, you know, make black women fight their men at home. I'm not a feminist. Yeah, I'm not I'm because you know I feel like the that the feminist mm. movement I don't even want to be a part of cancel culture because I feel like mm. but I, on, I, cancel I, culture is only for black men like women don't get canceled <laughs> <cancer, bro. laughs> right, let, let, let me get to my topic maybe we're not yeah because we can leave the feminists alone because yeah. they, they, <laughs> they do a lot they do a lot they do too much they do oh, yeah, yeah we got another make video make sure y'all like and subscribe before we get into this next topic question if you don't have a high sex drive and your man do and you say you love your man but he better not cheat on you and you don't like sharing your man i don't get it sis 
That don't sound like love. If you know you got a low sex drive and your man got a high sex drive, but you love your man and you want to please your man, you just don't want to share. Then you need to turn that shit up and get that pussy up even when you don't want to. Or tag a bitch in to let her get him right, if possible. And everybody wins. You don't got to have sex when you don't want to. And your man ain't got to go without. I know y'all ain't ready for them type of conversations. Mm. They show eight. Well, they <laughs> who the fuck ain't? I'm ready for the whole conversation. I, 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 I don't know who she's talking about, but let's talk about it. I feel like compromise. You have a man that has high sex drive. Compromise. You don't want to. You don't want to have sex all the time. Mm -hmm. So I don't gotta give. Listen, so, so I don't think giving? that you. I think a man. You and you have your household. You would, this is your woman. Oh, she's not having sex with me this week. I'm going to go cheat. Like, come on. This is your relationship. Oh, it's been like, two, women go through stuff. Women feel things. Just like men as well. But there's a compromise. If a woman is just like, no, I'm not having sex with you at all. And that's that's just like, that's kind of, you know what I'm saying? But I feel like, it, you know how it feels that's to it. keep having sex and then you just don't want to have sex with this person? You don't feel like having sex. Not even this person. You just don't feel like having sex right now. Right. It'll make you push even more like I need some time some space alright right. you know you get with a guy you know what he's about you know what he's mm -hmm. on so I mean I feel like you do have to compromise you know suck. So, do so, a little so something the, so to, what's the compromise mm. not reading no damn book not <laughs> reading no book compromises you know not cheating there are, no, wait, wait. No, no, there are no. women who are into that uh, you know, I don't have nothing against that. If that's what you do, that's what you do. That's, that's fine. So you got a low sex drive? No. Your man, no, I'm asking. I'm oh, just... I'm sorry. Having, <laughs> 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 she has that real quick. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Hypothetically, let's say you got a low sex drive mm -hmm. and your man's sex drive is a little high. Mm -hmm. How are you compromising in that situation? In that situation, how I'm compromising is... Um, Cause you only say how the man compromise. You ain't you ain't get to the woman. That's what I'm trying to. Find no, out. I was talking about women. Like you know, make it a little. You fun. said not make cheat. It a, That's the man. So what is the woman doing to compromise and, for the man? And, and, and I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna be honest. To make it kinky, make it fun. The women that say they got a hot sex job, those be the ones with low sex job. Like that's how they that's how they will you in. You know that's what I'm saying. If you don't, if she doesn't feel like fucking having a full thorough. You know what I'm saying? Okay, let's say she doesn't want any type of anything. She could lay there and just let you. All right, babe. All right, you done? All right, you know, make it a little cute for you, whatever. Right, you that's that's like that's 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 that body No, sex. no, not that body sex. But, like, I'm talking about, like, if she really don't got it in her, it's been, like, two weeks. She knows it's been. Weeks. She knows. Okay, <laughs> sorry, sorry. I don't know. She's been like y'all said a long time. I don't know. Or like low sex drive. Let's say it's been a week. Y'all have sex usually like a twice a day, and it's been like a week. You ain't get nothing. It's like damn, bitch. I gotta pull this together. I gotta do something. Let me do yeah. something. You know. Mm. Or what if you're like pushing it this week? Like damn, we. I'm just putting numbers out there. Let's say I have sex Yo, two times a day. Now you want to fuck four times a day? Like damn, and I'm on the seventh day, and I just wanna. All right, I'm gonna just lay there. Look, look. I think, I think as, a guy, though, I think <laughs> as, as a guy. Let me say this because I, I feel like you know even if you don't want to have sex you just need like to go have fully sex. withdraw go drink some liquor go get turned up and go have sex even though you don't want to have it but I feel like as the man I feel like maybe you should spice it up or make it a little more romantic Interesting for, for her, her like, yep. and if that still doesn't yeah, work friend. then that's a conversation look look look, look. all all I'm hearing is selfishness. That's all I'm hearing. Damn, I'm hearing selfishness. Hearing. Because look, and there's no compromise. We heard the word compromise with no compromise. Wait, how, how no, was because, what I said not compromising? Because look, we always got... Because y'all seen the man do it. I got to make something romantic. Something. I got to bring the conversation up about not being satisfied. I said well, first. When, no, no. When will the woman leave? If you don't, if Why you're can't not, she do something it, romantic? Exactly. <laughs> like, it, it, you no, that's what I meant by saying kinky. She gotta make it. If she's not gonna fuck you right now, I'm sorry uh, if I can't. Can I curse? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> if she's not gonna yeah. fuck you right now, dress up, put a dance, and then go to okay, town. Okay, like saying, go out, listen, make it. This is what he's saying. I'm he's sorry. Saying, I'm just like you know. He's saying, what does she do? Am I getting that right? Like yeah. before you to, ask yeah. that. What? Okay, but. Because even if you have a low sex drive, you gotta bring that. But what if she doesn't even realize that she's like. Being stingy with the cat, like you, what if she you doesn't do? do. Like, you got to know my dick having. is hard. I, like, I, what I, the I, fuck? If she's constantly curving you, like you rubbing on her at night and stuff, and she constantly she curving you. She gotta know, bro. That's yeah. the conversation that you have to have. I have a question. Sorry, go ahead. No, no, go ahead. Go ahead. How long y'all wait? Like, how long wait? How long? What is the longest that y'all can go from your 
woman. Yeah, I, w- I went a month without having sex with my you girl. You work, but you yeah, went a month. Just, I've done it, and I, <laughs> but it's involuntarily. That's yeah. what you, like, I went a, that's I went a month, wanted. and I felt like I brought the conversation up, and we talked about it. But I feel like I shouldn't have to keep saying. Yo, we not doing it as much, or why are we not? So what's your compromise as a man? If you know that I, your lady don't really want to have sex, right then now, I'm not. I'm not gonna pressure her to have sex. That's, that's my compromise. That's why you went the whole month without saying it. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't mention it. I waited for okay. her to feel comfortable too. So that but was at, your at, compromise. But, but at, at the same time, I didn't go out. I'm saying I wouldn't go out and go mm-hmm. fuck something else. Mm-hmm. I'm waiting for. But at the same time, I felt like it's her job to say to <laughs> he me. Don't think so. <laughs> Now, only because on the show. You when mean you, when that you, when no, 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 that's crazy. Right. Well, y'all, that's fine. Oh. I've been, I've been, I've been in a relationship where my sex job, I've been in, I've been on both sides of the spectrum. Or I had a shorty who sex job was higher than mine, and I'm like, God damn. She said, "I'm sorry." I've been on both sides. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Shorty had the highest sex job than me. Okay. Mm-hmm. And I was like, shit, like I can't keep up with this. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> and I've been on the, the other side where I had the highest sex job. And because of how I felt when the girl had the highest sex job, I was like, I don't want to put that burden on her. So I, I would like hold back my urges. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. That was my compromise. Mm-hmm. But I didn't feel like it was no other compromise on the other side to accommodate exactly. me. Yeah, you, yeah, yeah. There's no word of comfort, nothing like, oh, well, I'm going to make it up to you then, or mm-hmm. nothing. I just got to assume and bring this shit back and, up. And y'all saying, oh, so she delayed So you guys just want reassurance. And that's fine. And then, like, I, then, I didn't. I wouldn't have done that. Y'all wanna, that's what y'all just y'all wanna want. Y'all want to lay up and cuddle and you have your ass on the day. Yeah. 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 What you just want to feel better at night? <laughs> no. <laughs> you know what exactly I mean? I reassured you, babe. No, no. I want y'all to suck my dick out. <laughs> and get more pussy and be happy about it. Yeah, like, no like, fuck, y'all ever had a nigga eat y'all pussy that don't like eating pussy? And he just looking at shit like he a cat or some shit. Like, y'all don't want no nigga ass out eating y'all pussy. No, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you need like, to no. eat it. If you don't enjoy yeah, it, don't do it. it. Exactly. I don't so, want no half so how, ass eating. So how, how you think a nigga gonna take it if you say like that? I get it. Okay. I didn't say I was gonna do that. I've been in such, I've I've had a relationship where I didn't want to have sex and he wanted to have sex all the time. I just sucked that shit up. Cause I you sucked your shit up. You said like, you sucked it up. Oh, oh no, 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 yeah. I just you said like, that's was, a compromise. I was, like, you know what I was saying? compromising. Like, I made sure that I pleased my nigga. Cause at the end of the day, I so don't want him up. to go. I didn't want him to go <laughs> nowhere else. So right. I, yes, I mm-hmm. sucked it up. Oh, okay. So yeah. I, I I wouldn't just like hold my nigga from having so, sex. I don't so, want him going to fuck right, right. nobody else. So with that being said, would you say a woman is selfish if she don't suck it up and she don't want him going nowhere else as well? If there, if she doesn't find a compromise, like yeah. maybe right now she's not feeling it, like Chrissy said, like mm. her body might not be feeling up to it. Mm. But as her nigga, you gotta ease, you gotta, you gotta ease it, like you gotta ease your way into that it. That shit just sounds scary. Every time y'all use that word compromise or I'm gonna change when I get mad, that those be the words y'all get to hook a nigga <laughs> to keep him old. Yeah, there's bone. no reason you, you just be gotta whole. ease your way into it. There's like, no reason men should be in sexless I marriages, like bro. That's outrageous. That's, that's, different. Different. that's, that's different. different. Like, no, you shouldn't be in a sexless. Y'all always say it's gonna be different once y'all get. Get married, mm-hmm. but then it gets worse. I feel like it's such yeah. a touchy. I, I just topic. feel like I don't. I don't know. I wouldn't say so much as a uh, touchy topic, mm-hmm. but I just feel like I can't give another opinion because I know that at the end of the day, I'm gonna do what I have to do. For yeah, mine. Like, mm-hmm. I'm not gonna allow nobody. I don't even want you to think like you gotta go somewhere else. Like, because once you start, at some point, that shit is gonna happen. Like, mm-hmm. I don't even want you to think like so that. So if I'm wrong, if, if I'm going to go I get my dick wet. <laughs> Yes, you're wrong. Yeah. You better go I mean, in the shower and everything. There's some niggas that bring it to their wife, like, yo, baby, I don't want to fight life here. There are some guys who bring it to their partner, like, yo, honestly, like, we have sex once a month. Mm. I cannot. You know what I'm saying? There are some guys who bring it to their partner. Yo, is that means for yeah, breaking just, up for with I, someone? It I can just be. feel like, and that's why I feel like you should be real. Try to like, if that's what you went to in the beginning of a relationship, I know a lot of guys it. who be like, yeah, I can't. Be with someone who okay. How do we? I don't know. Like, I, who don't the real question I want to ask is like, no, that don't, don't have like, threesomes or like I like to, you know, this and third. There are guys out there who be like they can't control themselves. Like okay, so I the like real question fuck, of what I want to ask is like, how do we get here in terms of like? People, you know, so you guys just up. automatically just feel the type of way. You guys don't say anything. We said I said I said things. Okay, so you say something and then. 
Right. Right. How, how we get here she is has in, to respond at one point yeah, is what how, I think how she's do we get here say. is before you, the relationship okay. mm-hmm. the woman was giving us the sex that we wanted mm-hmm. and she wanted to hook us in yeah. 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 we got gotcha, the relationship bitch. she's complacent and now I don't want to get that pussy up okay. well, this, that, are, we, are, are, we, are we 100% sure she's just complacent and we're 100% sure she's not just going through something then she need to communicate well, that. yeah well, okay, how are we so, supposed to read your okay, mind okay so we're gonna pause so we just randomly pick up like we just randomly start going through something and then we just say to ourselves I, we we have to communicate that to you guys do, do you not what think happens, that women okay listen to me listen to me you making what up a whole happens if <laughs> no listen to me mm-hmm. like what happens if I'm going through so much changes and I'm so much in my head that I don't even notice that I'm not fucking you as much. That sounds selfish. You need to come and communicate to me and realize what you're not doing for me because I realized mm. it. How you not notice okay. my dick not in your vagina? Like, I don't, I, because, it's us, right? Yeah. I okay. realized it. Right, you worry about yourself, okay. self, self. Me, 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 me. Okay, okay. All right. So, listen. I'm going if, I always, this. if I always worried about <laughs> us, us, us to the point where we got into the relationship together, now, okay. out of nowhere, I'm just worrying and about then, me, me, me. That's a flaw. Is it's it, still us. It, I'm still worried about you. Okay, mm-hmm. listen. It's still us. Mm-hmm. But don't you think there's something wrong at that point? Yeah, wrong Is with you. Is it just instantly we skip mm. to selfishness? Huh? You just, yeah. You just selfish. You just selfish, no, cause, selfish, cause, selfish. Cause, <laughs> cause look, exactly. Because if, like, if I communicate, if I communicate and you you say, oh, well, nothing's okay, wrong. Okay, so look, look, no, look, nothing's look, wrong, You babe. forgot about I gotta, this. I got to do this. You forgot I, about saying you communicated. I said that. No, no, yeah. like, no, like right now, like, because we started the hypothetical situation. So, you're, hypothetical what, what, situation. so now, okay. now. In, in this hypothetical, mm-hmm. I don't know nothing's wrong with you. Mm-hmm. You just not doing that for me. I'm just not doing it. Okay, so if I do that. point this hypothetical. Okay, look, you don't know anything's wrong with me. I'm just not doing it do you just say it to me are you gonna come Whoa. to me yeah i'm up yeah what's going on yeah <laughs> and then i ex- role play role okay. play role yeah. play, role play. Yeah. okay what's going on y'all never have an answer when a nigga asks y'all what's going on nothing nothing what happens if she said what happens if she's past that nothing hold on, hold on. Ro- stage role play it out role play it yeah, out yeah. Right. Jesus, what's wrong play. y'all let's see i'm going through a lot like what like my family, like, you know, like the annual, my grandfather's annual funeral's coming up. Um, oh, work you're gonna is bring getting, up the dad. Come on, Work get is here. getting worse. Like, you know, I want a well, new job. Fa- I really gotta got get out of here. Funeral. Like, <sighs> babe, my brain is just, I'm sorry. Right. What like, is a I'm good sorry. enough situation right. for her to go uh, through for you to be like, I don't know, because I feel like when we... No, wait, wait, wait. no, no, wait, no. wait, because I feel like, and I'm not trying to come back, I just want to get it out. Mm. I feel like when y'all, when this question and topic is brought up, y'all instantly think when the excuse comes up is, oh, I'm going through a lot, I'm going through this, I'm going through that. Mm. Like, like she just listed it. Y'all seen seen things. No, 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 because I'm waiting. Because you guys do make a lot of excuses, like, oh my gosh, I can't do this today. Yeah, look, you know what I'll do? I'll be like, yo, anything I can do to help you, and at that point, if I can't help you, We'll go back. I won't even bring up my issue, right? Okay. At this point, if I do have to bring it up a second time, I'm disappointed because at, you should realize what mm-hmm. the fuck is going on. Because I brought it up the first time, but no, I you did didn't. Ex- you didn't bring up shit. Well, you brought it up the first <laughs> time. Exactly. I didn't even bring it up. I didn't bring it up. I didn't bring it up. What was going on? I, I was I worried. Like... I was concerned about your feelings, mm-hmm. so I didn't even bring up my concerns. That's mm-hmm. what most men do. We okay. hold it. We hold it on end for so ourselves. So how can we, if you didn't even bring it up, then how can the second time when but, you finally do bring it up, you blame me? Because it should be if we've been having sex, our whole relationship. He just wants it to be like what you're talking about is like in a relationship. We're supposed to be aware of one another. Yeah, exactly. I really understand that, but like you brought it, you quote unquote, you didn't bring it up. You just said, babe, what's wrong? Yeah. Now I'm telling you, listen, at the back of your head, you know. All right. You look, said I got some, you. I got you, y'all. Wait, the moral look, look, look. of it is look. pop your Hold pussy up. for your nigga. That's look, it. Look, 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 I got her. That's it. Look, just pop your pussy look, for your nigga. I, I, I approached her on asking her what's wrong with mm-hmm. her. But yet, not one this time has she asked what was wrong with, with me. You. Drop the mic. Okay. Drop the mic. You asked what's wrong with me, but now I'm sitting here and I'm explaining to you, babe, I'm going through a lot. I didn't hear. Okay. 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 What's wrong with me? Okay. Okay. Now we well, have to like, 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 like a guy. I didn't hear, babe. Are you okay? When a guy comes to you, I feel like. Wait, uh-huh. I feel like when a guy comes to you, yes, I'm okay, so you can just. <laughs> yep, yep, that's a double piece. <laughs> <You can. laughs> I feel like when a guy comes said, to you. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. With that being said, we do got to get up out of here, right. but we appreciate oh, y'all awesome. for pulling up again. <laughs> Let so them know where they can follow you at. <laughs> Hi guys, my name again is Alexandria. You can follow me at Flex Almighty, my Instagram name. Flex Almighty. I have a sock Selfish. on. 
That's what we named in this episode. Her name is Mimi. Her name is Mimi, by the way. Yo, um, I'm Chrissy. You guys can find me at so Chrissy. That's S O dot C R I S S S S Y on Instagram. It's four S's. It's four S's. It's four S's. Janae, y'all. You can find me at I Tell Em Bye. That's I I T E L L underscore E M B Y E E. And we appreciate y'all for tuning in. If y'all enjoyed the conversation, make sure y'all hit that like button and yo. Make sure you fuck your nigga, okay? That is true. That is true. Make sure y'all give it four S's. Make sure y'all cop the merch, man. DailyRapCrew.com. Thank you, guys. They're amazing. <laughs> right. Okay, yeah. Yo. Okay.